This is some like Instagram model sh Baking is a makeup technique that was invented by drag queens to make their makeup stay on their faces longer. A lot of celebrity makeup artists have been doing it to big celebrities like Kim Kardashian and I don't know, are there any other celebrities that matter? The heat from your face mixing with the oils, it comes through your skin and it takes about 10 minutes for the whole process to happen and that's how you get baked. In order to bake your face, you need a liquid concealer, beauty blender, soft brushes, translucent powder, sponges. I thought baking was just applied to like making cakes. You have something very hot near your face, like a lava lamp. A makeup thing that involves a lot of makeup and like a decent amount of time. Part of it is that I'm a little bit intimidated by makeup. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is terrifying. My mom says things to me like, it wouldn't kill you to wear some blush once in a while. I just don't think I can do anything on my face with any level of precision. But we'll see, we'll see. I, you know, I, I'm full of surprises. The other day I ate a banana and I don't like bananas. Step one. Apply liquid concealer under your eyeballs. And then you put it here on, ooh, you put it, <laughs> does it look pretty yet? This is actually kind of like therapeutic. I feel like a five-year-old. She didn't put any on her mustache, but I kind of want to. Blend this by just pressing it into my skin in sort of a beating motion, like just beat the shit out of your own face. And then you take a undescended testicle and rub it in. Would you be able to do this at like seven morning? Oh, f no. <laughs> the first thing I'm concerned about when I wake up is like, where's breakfast? And like, is there something clean enough for me to wear to work? I don't exactly look like she looks. So at this point, you want to take your beauty blender or your triangular sponge and you are going to dip it into the translucent powder and apply it all over where you put that concealer. And that's really where the baking technique comes in. Now I'm looking more and more like a mime. So for oilier skin types, you're actually gonna see those oils coming out through the translucent powder. So that's where the term baking comes from. That's how you know you're cooked. And now we bake. While you're waiting for your face to bake, it would be a good time to finish the rest of your routine, put your eyebrows on fleek, uh, maybe pour yourself a nice glass of rosé. If you look closely at my skin, you can see that my natural oils have sort of like blended a little bit with the powder and I haven't even like touched it with a brush and that's pretty cool. I like to use a clean blush brush or a eyeshadow brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go right in here. In makeup videos, everyone makes this face. And we just do a lot of this when they're doing it. So that's, I don't have to make this face. I just wanna capture the aesthetic. She makes it look like there's like a, a grace or an art to the brush stroke. This looks crazy. It looks like an old ghost. And it's that easy. And by easy, I mean like not easy. Like it's fun to have like weird shit on your face and just to be able to like play with brushes and just make yourself look a little bit more done up than you normally would. This is probably the one makeup style where I could actually see myself doing this. It takes a lot of time and it's not particularly pleasant. It's like, I don't like breathing in powder and like sitting with tons of makeup on my face. I think if you're into it, like great, just not for me. When I see other kinds of makeup, you kind of, sometimes it feels like you lose the person and it's like, it looks like them, but it's not them. Whereas like, I look at this and I'm like, oh, I still see me and I like me. So it's good to see me. 